Saturday, 11-14. What a year. Lost a job. Relationships. Then came the Chandler's house. Susie? Hi, it's Ginny. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling better, I am. I'd love to see you if you have some time this afternoon. Maybe we can take a walk. It's beautiful here. You'll love the trees, the leaves are turning. Great. Yeah, I just need to change. I'm a little sweaty, I was out raking, but yeah, come over when you can. Great, see you later. All right, thanks. Okay, bye. Bye. Good to see you, I'm glad you're up and about. It is. By the way, thanks so much for all your help. Yeah, I'm surprised they fired you. Actually, I'm not. But I hope they will do a little bit more to help you out. Help me? Huh. They mandated I see a shrink for three months, and then when I came back to work, they fired me anyway. Well, it didn't help that you went all Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on them when you came back. I mean, actually, I was trying to vouch for you. They almost fired me for that. Yeah, I'm really sorry <laughs> about that. I didn't mean to get you all mixed up into that. But when I pulled out the cards that morning, it revealed the moon. You know what that means. Oh, I know. Danger and deception. You was hollering it as they was putting you out of the building. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean for it to go that far. Yeah. Hmm. Well... Actually, now you're doing better, right? I mean, the Chandlers have asked you to house sit for them, and so everything is going well, right? Yeah, and by the way, thanks so much for that referral. I really could use the money, and this is great. Well, you had lost so much. Your house, your friends, Ron. The f Good riddance. You know, Ron, that, that was a joke. That relationship was doomed from the start. You really believe that? I mean, Ron was the one with the, holding the, you together with the pins. He opened an umbrella in my house. Girl, are the shadows gone? Oh yeah, good, good. Everything's really good. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, well, how are you for money? I mean, is everything good? Well. Oh, oh, oh boy, no! Oh my God. It's okay. No, you know what this Jay, means. It's fine. Seven years of bad luck. It's fine. Oh my God, a broken future. One. No. Oh my God, this is serious, Sue. Don't you remember? Don't you remember what I told you? That therapist needs to be fired. No. This don't make any kind of sense. What is the matter? No, no. My mother, don't you remember?
girls are always up to something. Your mother would kill you if she knew that you were in her stuff. Aha, uh -huh, Miss Innocent. You invited bad luck into this house. Seven years of bad luck. Now, you have to help me. We need to cover this mirror before the evil spirits come in. Help me. You're crazy. You're a superstitious cook. Mom will fire you. Dead women don't fire. You killed her. You killed her. I'm so sorry, Mom. I thought she was a kook. I should have covered the mirror. I didn't know. And now it's all my fault. I can't, I can't bring you back, but I'll make it up to you. I'll believe every horoscope, tarot card, superstition, whatever. I promise. Jin! Jin! <gasps> no, it can't be too late! Oh my gosh, there's a spirit! Uh, Jin, there's nothing there. No, there is. Can't you see it? <sighs> I don't want to lose you too. Oh my god. You know what? I need to call someone. I think I know someone who can help you. Should I call her? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll go get the tea leaves and the tarot cards and the candles. Hello, June? How long have you been in the craft? In the craft? I don't do craft. You girls talk. I'm gonna step out back for a minute and take care of some business. All right. I was under the impression you were here to help me get rid of these spirits. I want to help you get rid of the spirits, but not through craft. For, do you mind if I, if I blow this out here, please? Well, but that's helping. No, you, you're you going to be okay, honey. You, you're going to be okay. Let's just put this out here. Mm. See, so I understand that you've been dealing with some issues stemming from your childhood well uh my mother she passed away okay and it was my fault all right well i i know that you've been going to the to the therapist and the psychologist but honey breaking a mirror is not going to kill your mama you see that is uh that's a stronghold. You see, you know anything about strongholds, baby? Just when my ex used to try to squeeze me a little too oh, much. Oh, okay, no. We're not talking oh. about that kind of stronghold. Oh. You see, there's things that often happen in our childhoods and things sometimes we don't even remember and it causes a spiritual stronghold. And you see what happens, their spirits and you know, even when people believe in superstitions, they're believing in spirits, but they're believing in the wrong spirits, honey. You see, God is the mighty spirit that will help you. And when we go out and we start doing all of these other things and believe in all these superstitions and stuff, that stronghold gets tighter on you and it's hard to break free. When I was younger, and I was in my early 20s. I got mixed up in this and that. I let a friend of mine take me out and try the tariffs. And you know what? It ended up with me in a psych war. Do you want change, baby? Oh, I want change. Okay, well, I want to help you to get uh, change. And I'm just going to start here with a prayer. I need to pray to release the spirits that's 
within you. There's some strongholds in there. And I know, sugar, you may not know much about it, but God does. And I'm going to pray in the spirit that God will remove that. That's the first step. You see out there, sometimes people go to the psychologist and that's it. But we're going to pray and God is going to start with in you. And it's not going to happen overnight. It takes time. So I know what you may be feeling, but I also know what brought me out. And so I'm just going to share that with you. But if you believe it can work, because many people say, "Uh huh," but once you believe, you got to believe in it. You believe? I believe. Do you want that? I want that. I do. I want that. Do you want it? I want it. I All want it. All right. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. May I hold your hand there? All right. Father God, I just thank you for Sister Jenny, God. God, you made Jenny, God. Hallelujah. And you see her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, God. God, you see the wounds that was caused in her childhood. And I ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to break every stronghold, every spirit that's come out that's set against her and her future, God, that you would lay an axe to the root. For you sent your son to die for Jenny, and you didn't intend for her to be in any psychological bondage. So in the name of Jesus, we lay an axe to the root. We bind up every spirit that will come, every dark shadow that will follow her. Give her the peace to know, God, you are the greater spirit, and the spirit of the devil does not have hold of her. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be free. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, girl, you looking better already. Oh, hallelujah. I feel it. I, I really feel it. Ooh, I feel it too, daughter. And I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. You see, acknowledging that Jesus Christ is Lord, he is the main spirit, that is the start. Now, let me tell you, the enemy's going to try. You may see spirits and stuff, but you just know and you just whisper in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be gone. Because they're going to test you. That's what the devil does, sugar. He always comes after us and he never wants us to be free. But who God has set free is free indeed. Throw your hands up because you are free, Jenny. Oh you God. are free, Thank Jenny. You. you are free indeed. Thank you. Now, where, Thank you. where is that, Suzette? I'd love to stay and talk, but I got to make a bunch of house I'm coming, I'm coming. I just didn't want to come in and interrupt y'all, you sound like. You was having such a good time. Girl, I'm always happy when I'm with my sisters and when I'm with the Lord of Lords. Jenny, you just hold uh -huh. on. You keep praying. And I know Suzette is going to help you go in the right direction, sugar. I got to go. I got to go, but thank you for having me in your home. Thank, thank you, you so much. Okay. Thank you. Oh, all right, sugar. You. you free. <laughs> Woo! Don't get me started, because I feel it in my hands. Uh, I feel it in my feet, and I feel them all over me. And God is not just a feeling. He's a deliverer. You deliver, baby. Hold Thank on. You. Hold on tight now. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Come Thank on and walk in. Thank you Thank for you. having me. Thank you. <sighs> wow, she was amazing. I feel so much better. You look so much better, too. One day at a time, right? Yeah. Are you uh, okay to stay by yourself tonight? I mean, I can stay if you need me to. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. You sure? Yeah, you know, I think that prayer stuff is really working. I feel like like a load was lifted. Prayer does that. Listen, I'm good. You can go. Okay. All right. I'll call you when I get home. All right. Great. Thank you.
her life, God. Oh, God, just dry up every spirit that will come, every dark shadow that will follow her. Give her the peace to know, God, you are the greater spirit, and the spirit of the devil does not have hold of her. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be free. Susie? Yeah. Yeah, Susie, I'm okay. I'm all right. The ghost within is no more. I'm okay. Thank God for Susie and June. Such a catalyst for change. The journey continues. Support groups. Counseling. <laughs> More prayer. Words. Hold so much power, but with faith, friends, and persistence. Ghosts do die.